Hey, hello, hello, hello. Tony here, and it is time for my one month update after my purchase of the uh, One Wheel Pint X. And just gonna give you my, uh, my thoughts, uh, what I'm loving, what I'm maybe not so much loving, and uh, maybe that'll help you guys along the way. First things first, you might notice that it looks a bit different from when I first got it. Uh, I have decided to give it a, cosme a cosmetic upgrade. I've gone with the um, rail guards and grip tape change as well as the carbon fiber fender. The uh, carbon fiber fender is from Future Motion, came in the bundle with my Pint X. The grip tape I did get from Craft and Ride along with the, uh, the rail guards. Uh, I do have clear rail guards on top of those. So I've got like double the protection um, to uh, kind of keep that, just give it a nice cosmetic upgrade. Um, currently, I think I am knocking on about 130, 132 miles. Uh, on my one wheel. The uh, longest ride I've gone on is probably about 14 miles, kind of like a little range test. And I uh, can say it's, it got me about 14 miles total, not on a full charge, maybe about on 90%. So the distance is as advertised. I am um, about 215, 220 pounds. That's my weight. So the board um, definitely was able to push me around and keep me going um, without needing a charge uh, until I ran it all the way down. My top lifetime top speed was a little over 18 miles per hour. I did immediately get the pushback. Um, normally kicks in around that uh, 16 mile an hour range. I feel a significant pushback. Uh, so in addition to adding these things onto the board, throw a little plug in there um, to protect my charger port. And let me flip it around. All right, there we go. Went ahead and upgraded the handle. Um, like I said I would, the Pro handle is what we've got here. It's metal and has a little rubberized grip. Um, so what I've learned after a few rides on a little bit of different terrain. I've learned that I would prefer to be on concrete and asphalt rather than grass and trail. Um, so for those that are beginners, uh, just take it easy when attempting to transition between those two different types of terrain. Uh, literally my first attempt from uh, uh, terrain or to grass, <laughs> I landed in the grass. So. Great. I'm good. I'm good. Yes. It's just something uh, I wasn't used to the the uh, the give and the uh, different feel that I was going to encounter, or the significant difference. Um, my type of shoe wear. I've uh, gone between my old skate shoes, some SBs, um, a pair of basketball shoes, some Hirachis, and I've landed landed on my old. Uh, Supra Sky Tops, um, by far the most comfortable shoe I've come across um, to ride in. I like the high top. Um, second is my other pair of uh, Nikes. These are also SB Air Jordans, but so they're just as comfortable. I just don't want to get them as messed up as I do my Supra since they're older. Um, but you know, depending on the terrain you're riding and uh, the comfort level, will uh, determine, I guess, the shoes that you want to wear. I do wear a helmet all the time. Uh, should have run it closer. Got my old uh, red helmet here still. 
still comfortable. Um, don't yet see a reason to upgrade um, in that department. So I'll save my money and use it elsewhere. But uh, one of my things I did upgrade, and I'm glad, like I said, was a grip tape um, instead of the stock grip tape. The amount of, uh, the difference between the amount of grip uh, was very significant. So if you feel like you might be sliding around or you want to kind of give yourself a little bit of an edge right off the top, the grip tape um, was a good, just a good change. Uh, pretty easy. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there that tell you how to do so. Um, so just follow those and you'll be good to go. Um, I just got this in the mail today. So this is my next upgrade after, like I said, I'm over 100 miles and riding. I decided to get a new foot pad and I decided to get the uh, Kush High, Kush Nug High or High Nug, however they got it. And um, from, from the float life. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it open right here too. So let's see what we got. Not as clean as a cut. Oh, there we go. So yeah, got a little bit of stuff in there. But yes, I got me a uh, cushion nug high and I went for a blim one, uh, a blemish one according to the website. So there may be some kind of uh, damage on it, but you know, I saved quite a bit of money by choosing this one. So let me see what they consider to be blemished or damaged. In here, it's wrapped. We also got a few stickers, a tool, and then matching front grip tape. Uh, this is, I believe, the TFL grip tape it comes with. Let me see what we're working with here. It's like a little nug sticker right there. Alrighty. So let me see, looking at it, see I guess little markings here that might make it considered to be blemished. A little bit around the edge it's not the cleanest look um but it's a one wheel and we're not supposed to care how clean they look honestly it's pliable it feels a bit softer and it has a nice concave so this should definitely help with foot fatigue that's another big thing that i've noticed is uh when riding long foot fatigue so this should definitely help in that and i'll probably do another update video to tell you how this has helped fix that. So I'm very excited for this. Um, what's gonna bother me now is the uniformity of my grip tape. So not sure if I'm just gonna go ahead and swap that out or have one in the other. We'll see. Not a big deal, but comfort is. So I uh, will swap that out. Let's see what else I got in here. Here's some stuff rattling around. Nice koozie, thank you. And um, looks like some tools, so yeah, got some other stuff here. Nice little T, a little stem, valve stem cap, a little bit of swag in here, so much appreciated. Oh, sweet. Oh, and a keychain, the float life keeps on, keeps on giving. Definitely much appreciated. So um, yeah, those are just a few of the things that I've noticed um, that I like I don't have really any dislikes about the board um, let's see uh, I think I told you my weight 215 my height right around six foot even I wear size 12 shoe so I do have significant toe maybe a little bit of heel hang since this is a pint however it's not enough to bother me um, another thing um, the pint charger here um, original comes with the pint if you really want to get riding, I do recommend getting the Pine Ultra Charger. Size comparisons. Defin definitely an upgrade by getting this one. Power comparison. You're going to charge in probably more than half the time as you would um, with this smaller original Pine, uh, Pine Charger. So definitely get one of those um, if you don't have one already. Uh, honestly, 
I recommend if you are looking for looking uh, on the fence about getting a one wheel, the Pint X is probably going to be right up your alley. I loved it from the first time I got on it um, and was cruising and ready to go. Since then, I've met a group of uh, guys in my area. We've gone on two group rides already, and we're probably going to be making it uh, a regular thing every Thursday, every other Thursday. So. Um, shout out to those guys, Savannah One Wheel Riders, and um, yeah, um, get it, it's getting me out and about, enjoying and exploring and meeting new people. So if that in itself was all, um, that's a plus. Um, it's great for my mental health. So I think there's plenty of benefits that just by getting this awesome, uh, awesome tool here, awesome device, uh, have lent itself to. So. Uh, if you're on the fence, hop over that fence and get you a one wheel. Um, excited to see how these folks with their GTs are going to be faring soon. So, you know, uh, who knows? That might be an upgrade in the future. But for now, my Pint X is the beast. It's it's awesome, and uh, hope you get one. If this video helps, or if it doesn't, uh, or if you need me to do something different, send a comment. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and thanks for watching.